to know why this police officer is not handcuffed and charged for the murder of my son. One day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew. Man, you do something about it because you can. The story comes to us from CBS, Los Angeles, where recently released footage shows the chain of events before an undercover officer shot and killed an unarmed 18-year-old last month. It unveils new details nearly a week after the family of Ricardo Ramirez Jr. filed a claim against the Los Angeles Police Department. The father says he was just 18 years old. That's Ricardo Ramirez Sr. He goes on, his journey was just beginning and that was taken away from us. People are portraying him as a bad kid. He was a good kid. Now the deadly shooting happened on July 13th of this year while Ramirez, a Bay Area native, was on vacation in Southern California. The 18 year old traveled to LA with his friends to celebrate their high school graduation, according to the family attorney. The group of young men were driving their silver Cadillac around the Figueroa corridor. At the same time, plainclothes vice officers were conducting a prostitution enforcement operation in the area. This week, a month after a Los Angeles police officer shot and killed Ramirez, the police department released surveillance video of the moments leading up to the shooting on July 13th. Ramirez and three others were in this silver Cadillac that caught the attention of an officer in the area. The occupants of a silver Cadillac wearing ski masks involved in a possible dispute with the driver of another vehicle. After both vehicles took off, an officer asked for the Cadillac to be followed. Follow that car because they were all messed up. Follow that car. Follow that car. Surveillance video shows the moment. An unmarked vehicle followed the Cadillac. The Cadillac stopped and Ramirez got out and approached the vehicle following them. Seconds later, police shot him. Shot in the chest. The family's attorney said the officers should have identified themselves. And they followed protocol and waited for the marked vehicle. Ricky would have known who he was approaching. And I think the video shows quite clearly, Ricky did not have a weapon in his hand. His arms were open on both sides near the window of the door. And he was right in front of the window. And the only one that we see with any kind of weapon is a gun come up and a shot go out and Ricky fall to the ground. Not conscious, not breathing. The officer started to follow the Cadillac and believed Ramirez and his friends were wearing ski masks. Quote, I've talked to everybody in that car. There wasn't a ski mask on anybody, says attorney, uh, attorney Christopher Dolan. He goes on, there wasn't a ski mask at any point in those cars. The security camera shows Ramirez running to the sergeant's car's driver's side. As he gets right next to the dark tinted window, he suddenly falls to the ground before stumbling toward the unmarked police car trailing behind. He then collapses to the ground and lies in front of one of the officers. A bullet had pierced through Ramirez's chest and killed him instantly. Quote, it breaks my heart to see my boy fall to the ground and try to crawl away from the shooter and collapse in the street, says Ramirez's mother, Renee Villalobos. I'm saying I love you, Mama. Mama, I love you. And this is what I'm going to miss. Now, according to the attorney, Dolan, the sergeant shot from inside the car behind tinted windows. While Ramirez asked, why are you following us? The sergeant's door opens after Ramirez's collapse after Ramirez collapses in front of the trailing police car. The attorney says Ricky was unarmed. The officer was safely in his vehicle and he shot from the vehicle into a boy with no weapon in his hands. If you or I shot from the inside of a car into the chest of somebody, we'd be behind bars, says the attorney. So after the shooting, Ramirez's friends ran back to the car before the group sped away. LAPD started to chase them before handing off the pursuit to the California Highway Patrol. CHP chases them into San Bernardino County before finally getting the three men into custody. Officers arrested the driver, 26-year-old Israel Dezama, and he's being charged with felony evading. 
The two other occupants were questioned and released. Quote, they were afraid that they'd all get shot, says Attorney Dolan. Now, investigators did not find a firearm or any other kind of weapon on Ramirez at the scene. The California Department of Justice joined the LAPD's Force Investigation Division to look into the shooting. Attorney General Rob Bonta said his office will conduct an independent review under AB 1506, which requires his office to investigate any police shooting resulting in the death of an unarmed civilian. Dolan, the attorney, says it is a despicable classic case of shoot first and ask questions later. We will vigorously prosecute this case to bring Ricky and his family justice. But the bottom line here is, there's another cop sitting in his vehicle, pulls his gun out as the guy runs up to his car. He goes, hey man, don't run up on my car. Through a tinted window. Instead of just backing the car up and putting the window down and go, yo, yo, I'm a cop. What, what's going on or whatever. No, they don't do that. No, why would they do that? He's got a badge. He can do whatever he wants. A month after the shooting, Ramirez's family released balloons in coma to celebrate his life as they continue to seek justice for his death.